shouldn't do, huh? something they shouldn't do in this street art world. I don't know if you guessed it, but if you take a look at this, everything is okay. But if you take a look at this guy, you see this across his face. You know, <coughs> what's this? You know, originally somebody came here and wrote across the face, wrote something. You know. Now there's no, there are no rules just in the street art world, you know, not, not like a manual manual or something. But there are some more rules you know, that you are supposed to follow. One of them, and probably the most important, <coughs> don't tag on a mural that is not yours. That is very disrespectful. The most disrespectful thing that you can do to another artist. Okay? So, this happens a lot here, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna see a lot of murals with a lot of tags on it, you know? It could be different reasons. For example, if I don't get along with a guy and I see a mural of his, I'm gonna tag over him. That happens a lot here, okay? A tagging war, that happens a lot. Other reason, I'm just getting started in this thing, you know? I, I don't know the rules, and I don't know that I shouldn't do that, you know? And I tag over him. The other reason, I'm just a vandal, and I have no respect for anything, and I just tag everywhere. Huh? Everywhere, it doesn't really matter. You know, how can I tell this guy is not a street artist or a street writer? Because he wrote Yo hago caca, which means Jeff or Louis. Uh, I poo, you know, I, yeah. That's how you can tell. Because in, if I have street, uh, if I am a street artist or a street writer, I tag with my name or the name of my crew or whatever. You know, I don't write just like something point pointless. That's how you can tell.